Next, we need to model this part, connect it with this part, and then make this connection. So let's get back to Cinema 4D. Uh, sorry to uh, 3ds Max. Uh, I was working with Cinema a few hours ago. So now I need to create this piece and put it right here. So I will start with a plane. Use it and let me draw a plane. Or maybe something like this. And I need to change its parameters. Uh, let me just move it like this. Let me make the lens something like 270. And uh, let me make it 220. And I will leave the segments like this. And later I will create other segments. Uh, now right click, convert to editable poly. I go to edge mode double click, drag it outward, not much, double click and drag it outward. Uh, this one needs to go this way. Let me check. Okay, I need to do the same with this one. Put it right here and this one too. Mm, not much. Okay. So now I need to create cuts. It's better to use a swift loop from edit menu. So I go to swift loop and I need to create two cuts, one here. Maybe we can use connect would be better. So let me select these edges and go to connect. And it gives me, of course, by default it's one, but we raise it to make it two. And press OK. That's it. Now let's go to polygon mode and let me select this middle group. I, I will use Alt to deselect these four and I will use extrude inner. Then what we will do, we will create a rotation so it can give me this effect you see right here. So I go to extrude and I use minus. 20. I got a perspective view. Oops. I press OK. I got a perspective view to see what's going on. It's gone here. And I go to edge mode to select this edge. I need to select this edge and we will rotate it. Okay, so using rotate, rotation, uh, angle snap, of course, so nothing funny happen. And maybe we need to make it a bit smaller and keep rotation until we get the needed effect. I got a left view. And where's my piece? That's it, this one. And I need to push this backward. Now I go to vertex mode. I select this group of vertices and make sure it's even using the scale mode. I get, go back to front view. Fine. Now let me move these vertices to make this shape. To make this round shape. So I take this group, I push them all, and then I use Alt to deselect these two again, and finally, this one we need to push it right like this. Okay. So, I need to make sure when I use NURM with it or NURBS, it will give me the effect I need. So, I go to edit, use NURBS to see 
the effect okay it's fine for me maybe we need to make this edge crease so I will deactivate the norm go to edge mode uh, I think this edge need to be pushed backward a bit fine now I need to create a chamfer edge out of it so I go to chamfer and one, one is value is fine I press ok I do the same for this edge and I use chamfer one is fine I press ok now when I use norm again Maybe we can raise. That's it. Let's make it three. Fine. That gives me the effect I need. I go to front view, and I need to push these corners. Mm, they look fine. They look fine. So okay, we got the piece we need. This piece is this piece, right here. We need to connect them together. But first. Let me deactivate the norm. I go to front view. So now we need to attach these together. So we go to left view. And let me push this guy forward. Oops. And like this. I need to rotate it. Not much and push it forward now let me go to front view I need to make sure the number of vertices here is the same here using bridge or using weld the same result so here I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so I need to add extra 1, 2, 3, 4 four six segments here so I will use the cut tool oh. let me first select this one and go to vertex mode use the cut tool I will create this cut one two three and the final one right here so now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe we could make it from here to here okay let me get rid of this edge and instead I will use the cut tool again from here to here and same for this one I don't like it so I use a cut go to vertex mode from here to here fine so now let me arrange them so they can match as we can this one needs to come here and this like this now I select the object and press attach and then attach it to this one now let's go to vertex mode and make this group of vertices even and we do the same on the left side 
So yeah, I will use it. Fine. So now let me go to edge mode. Select this edge. But of course I don't need all these edge, just this one. And press Ctrl to select this one and use the bridge to bridge them together. You can use weld if you wish. You can use the weld tool. It's okay. I press P to go to perspective view. It will give you the same result and I will press OK. Before I connect this piece to this piece, I need to go to left view to make sure everything is even because I see some weirdness right here. Actually, I need to take these. Mm, yeah. So I press L to go to left view. And I need to take these vertices and push them back. And these need to be even. to get rid of this snap toggle and let me make this a bit larger so the effect can be obvious same here and push them okay let me go to front view everything is fine i want to select this piece and let me check the image it needs to take this angle it's something like 100 angle so I go to left view, press L, and then use the snap toggle, and I will rotate it to something like 60 degree, maybe 70. And let me take it I need to make another rotation. Uh, I will remove the snap. Okay. And let me push it up. Now I go to front view, press F, and make sure it's in this position. And I go to perspective view, and that's what we will do. We will connect in the next value these two pieces together so we get this continuous shape like the one we have here but we need to adjust the angle of this part first so i go to vertex mode go to left view and i need to lower this group of vertices something like this so we can select this piece, drag it, and rotate it. Let me get back. Uh, I need to take this one with me. Uh, that belongs to who? That belongs to this piece. So again in left view, I should take this one and put it in place.
I can use the align tool but let me do it quickly because we will need to align it again later okay go to front view and we need to make sure it's in the right position later we will align it using the align tool so next in the next video i will connect these two but i will tell you what i will do while i uh, turn off the uh, recorder i will make sure the number of vertices here and here are the same so i will do like i did with this piece i will make cuts or maybe i can remove some uh, vertices so keep up with us